this morning. This is a unique guide experience. We're going to be fishing on Stockton Lake out of Stockton, Missouri. And Chris is our guide. He does walleye and we're going to go do some crappie. But uh, since the boat launch is close, we're riding in the back. Which is probably not too terribly legal, but fun as heck anyways, so who cares? <laughs> this was like a last minute thing. I'm like, Chris, let's find ourselves a guide. There's Chris. Let's see if somebody's got a spot. And then this guy had a cancellation. So looking forward to catching some, some big crappie. Bigger than what I see over in Washington. Yeah, they call them panfish because they're as big as the pan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to see see how this goes. This uh, buddy has uh, some cabins for fishermen. Him and his buddy both guide the lake, so that's cool. So he gets to park, park his boat here. Looking at his gear. I don't know the rods. They look uh, pretty cool. Basically, what I'd use for trout anyway. I got some. Likes the blue and white over here. I don't know what color Chris has on her side. Oh, she got white over there. So, yeah. This boat's cool. Not what I'm used to seeing in Washington. You got a seat up here. And you got a seat up there. Of course, the trolling motor, the bow mount. Yeah. Probably got some live fish in there. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's getting pretty bouncy. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just taking a picture of the fish. Turn your camera on. It is. I couldn't see it, but I it was it was a uh, was taking it. Yeah, he hammered it, didn't he? Yeah. I was like trying to find my cork, and I'm like, no, that thing's going for a ride. Bring it to you. Oh, yeah. it's not a bad wow. There's a couple different species. Or this lake has some really cool cliffs to it. It's been a slow fishing day so far. We've got. We got uh, 
quite a few crappie, but they're undersized, so I had to go back. Got two two good sized keeper crappie. I caught a nice little bass that I didn't want to keep. Uh, Chris got a, a channel catfish and a nice bluegill, so that's what we got in there right now. We head to the other side of the lake. bad for October though. It's 70, it's going to be 75 out here, so weather's good. That's what we got so far. Cat, bluegill, two crappies. I think the big one was mine. Of course I'm going to say that. I caught the biggest crappie. Never had catfish before. Ugh. I'm gonna try another spot. It's been kind of windy, so. Let's see what we can get. Damn, Chris, look at you. Oh, we gotta watch out for those fans. <laughs> got a pair of pliers right here. I already had my hand on them. I would have took you up on that. Gotcha. Get a picture of you later, buddy. <clears throat> well, I moved, you said three feet, so I moved it three feet, around three feet. So. getting a <laughs> one of those types of blades. Oh, yeah. Pretty looking fish. Uh -huh. Crappie and walleye, best fresh water eating fish. This is a white. See how he's got all black? Okay. White crappie has lateral lines okay. like that. Two different species, whites and blacks. Usually the blacks are a little more meaty, a little more aggressive than the white. How much bigger the 
shoulders are a little bigger. Okay. All right. We ended our journey and I'm going to put uh, Chris's card up here in case you're over near Stockton Lake and you want to go walleye fishing and uh, crappie fishing. You have to talk to him though. The walleye and crappie are kind of better at certain times of the year. We end up with the uh, Four nice good size crappie, a bluegill, and a catfish. We tossed back probably somewhere close to 20 crappie that were undersized, but they were close. And uh, a bass. Hope you've enjoyed this cop, this video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll try to bring you more fishing when I can. Thank you.